So last week, the Poco F1 arrived and it completely destroyed our perception of a mid-range smartphone. With the phone packing the flagship Snapdragon 845 processor and its prices starting at just Rs 21,000, the Poco F1 has started a price war. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Hey guys, I'm Akshay from bbomb.com and with phones like the Honor Play, the Zenfone 5Z and now the Poco F1, I think the smartphone price pause have really begun. I'll explain more but before I do that, how about you hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post an awesome new video. Now then, let's get started. Xiaomi has always been the king of the budget smartphone market in India. They've been offering smartphones with Snapdragon 625 and Snapdragon 636 along with some decent cameras and pretty great build quality for a very competitive price and they haven't really had much of a competition. But this year, Asus dropped the Zenfone Max Pro M1 with a Snapdragon 636, a whopping 5000 mAh battery and decent cameras for just around 11,000 rupees to undercut the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Then Asus decided to one-up OnePlus itself by launching the Zenfone 5Z with a Snapdragon 845. I mean, until then, OnePlus was the only brand offering a flagship processor in that price range. But the Zenfone 5Z came in at Rs 30,000 and it generated quite a lot of buzz. Things were already heating up in the mid-range market when Honor came along and launched the Honor Play for just Rs 20,000 with the Kirin 970, their in-house flagship processor. That was insane and the phone grabbed the eyes of everyone who was thinking of buying a mid-ranger. And then, well we all know what happened then, Xiaomi launched the Poco F1, a phone that by every part of the spec sheet is a flagship with the Snapdragon 845 up to 8 gigs of RAM and up to 256 gigs of storage for just 21,000 rupees. The Poco F1 has taken the world by storm. It has absolutely destroyed the mid-range market with a price so low it seems almost impossible. It has been grabbing headlines and the smartphone price falls have truly begun. But that reminds me of something. Let's step back a few years to 2014 when the OnePlus One was launched. The phone grabbed a ton of headlines. Every review it got was sparkling and people were in awe that a flagship grade hardware could be priced so low. I mean, it had a Snapdragon 801, 3 gigs of RAM, 16 or 64 gigs of storage and was launched at just 22,000 rupees. It was crazy. Now with the Poco F1, I think Xiaomi is trying to use the same strategy that has already been proven by OnePlus in the past. So next year's Poco F2 will probably come with improved cameras, a better design and obviously the Snapdragon 855 for a few thousand extra rupees. Even on its first sale of the Poco F1, Xiaomi made sales of over 200 crores in just 5 minutes. That's around 90 to 100,000 units of the Poco F1 sold by the company. In comparison, the OnePlus 6 brought in 100 crores for OnePlus at its first sale. That translates to around 30,000 units sold. That's less than a third of the Poco F1 sale. I think the numbers speak for themselves here. Look, Xiaomi is owning the Indian smartphone market already. According to CounterPoint's research data for India, Xiaomi is tied with Samsung for the top spot with 28% share of the market. Now look at this. From Q2 2017 to Q2 2018, this is how Xiaomi and Samsung have increased their share. Samsung went from 23% to 28% and Xiaomi went from 16% to 28%. Xiaomi's stronghold on the budget market is the reason behind this awesome growth and to increase it further, Xiaomi chose the mid-range market where the competition isn't as high as it is in the budget market. Now I think Xiaomi will use this strategy and in the next 2 or 3 years it will get a healthy share of the mid-range market as well, which will make it a dominant player in the Indian smartphone market. So who will really win in these smartphone wars? Xiaomi, OnePlus, Samsung, Oppo? Well, no. The real winners in these smartphone price wars will be us, the consumers. Look at it this way. When there's a phone like the Poco F1 that's bringing a Snapdragon 845 at 21,000 rupees, will you consider buying any other phone at around that same price with something like a Snapdragon 636 or a Snapdragon 660? Heck, even a Snapdragon 710? Obviously not, and so this will end up with those phones getting more affordable over time. It's a win for us because we'll get more choices and more affordable smartphones thanks to all the competition among companies. Well, those were my thoughts on the Xiaomi Poco F1, why it's priced so low and why the smartphone price wars have really begun. But what do you think of the smartphone price wars? Do let me know in the comments down below. Also, give this video a like and share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. So that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.